Studio. Or any indication of foul play? So, are drugs to blame for Jackson's death? Michael reportedly collapsed approximately one hour after receiving a shot of the powerful painkiller Demerol. After taking Demerol, Michael started to experience slow, shallow breathing. His breathing got slower and slower until it stopped. Now, the 911 call. He's not breathing, and we need to, we're trying to pump him, but he's not, he's okay. not OK, how old is he? He's uh, 50 years old, sir. He's unconscious, he's not breathing? Yes, he's not breathing, sir. Where's he at right now? He's on the bed, sir. We have a personal doctor here with him, sir. Oh, you have a doctor there? Yes, but he's not responding to anything, to no, no, he's not responding to the CPR or anything. Friday morning, investigators reportedly seized bags of prescription drugs from Michael's home. Police searching for vials of medication and syringes. The autopsy was also performed Friday. What will they find? Some allege Michael had been popping prescription pills, including the anti-anxiety drug Xanax, Valium, Oxycontin, even straight morphine to help him cope with performance injuries, including a damaged vertebra and broken leg caused from a fall on the stage. Michael's close friend Liza Minnelli's phone call to the early show. All of us who knew him well uh, really know what he was like. I'm sure when the autopsy comes, uh, all hell's going to break loose. If they find Demerol, it's a matter of how much. And then they'll look for other drugs, too. And then they'll determine whether or not the cumulative effect of all those drugs caused his death. With these new allegations of drugs, did Michael have a doctor feel good? Reportedly, Jackson's personal doctor is MIA, and police are searching for this man believed to be Dr. Conrad Murray. A BMW reportedly the doctor's sisters was towed from Michael's home last night. Of course, the King of Pop's death is similar to that of his idol, the King. 42-year-old Elvis Presley was found dead in his bathroom, overdosed on prescription drugs. It's a painless death, but one which ironically does not permit you to cry out for help because you have no pain. Another star gone too soon, Anna Nicole Smith, who was also found unconscious. Her life lost to an accidental drug overdose. Jackson's former family lawyer, Brian Oxman, alleges that Michael had enablers feeding him drugs. I have warned of the use of medications in Michael's case. Anna Nicole Smith had the same in a very similar situation. And I have warned that Michael was in danger of the same thing. Coming up, more on the shocking death of Michael Jackson. But first...